Hosea, his name means salvation, and his wife, Gomer, means to end or complete. God uses their marriage as an analogy to how unfaithful Israel was to him. Analogy definition is a comparison between two things, typically for the purpose of explanation or clarification. So, Hosea and his wife and children, Hosea was a prophet, and when the Lord began to speak through Hosea, the Lord said to him, Go, take yourself an adulterous wife and children of unfaithfulness, because the land is guilty of the vilest adultery and departing from the Lord, the land which is Israel. And so... Gumer was the wife of the prophet Hosea. In some translations, she is labeled a prostitute, but the more accurate description is that she was simply promiscuous and had extramarital relations. The Lord told Hosea, to marry an adulterous wife and to have children of unfaithfulness. First, they had a son. They named him Jezreel, and that means God sows. Then they had a daughter, and God told Hosea to name her Lorohama, which means not pitied, no mercy. Then they had another son, and God told Hosea, call him Lo am I, means in Hebrew, not my people. Yet the Israelites will be like that or the sand on the seashore, which cannot be measured or counted in the place where it was said to them, you are not my people. They will be called son, sons of the living God. The people of Judah and the people of Israel will be reunited and they will appoint one leader and will come up out of the land for great will be the day of Jezreel, which means sowing and God sows. That would be that's another analogy for the um, reaping, the pulling out the weeds from the good plants. And so God punished Israel because they worshiped Baal with the gold and silver God gave them. He says that Israel is his wife but not anymore due to them burning incense to the balls and forgot about him. I will punish her for the days she burnt incense to balls. She decked herself with rings and jewelry and went after her lovers, but me she forgot, declares the Lord. So then, but in the days to come, God will show his love to her, Israel, once again. So the Lord told Hosea to go buy his wife back and love her once more. And he did for 15 shekels of silver and 10 bushels of barley. Hosea bought his wife back from from being... Well, from a slave service, it's a cult slash human trafficking ring. She must have been kidnapped after she was running after some guys or one guy. I don't know. Then he took her 
home and told her to be with him and he will be with her forever too. So the Lord said to me, go show your love to your wife again. She, though she is loved by another and is an adulteress, love her as the Lord loves the Israelites, though they turned to other gods and loved the sacred raisin cakes. So he bought her for 15 shekels of silver and uh, I think 10 bushels of barley. A homer is 10 bushels of barley, I think. Yeah, well, I did the research. And so I think that's about the same amount of buying a slave back in the day, if you go back to Exodus. Then I told her, you are to live with me many days. You must not be a prostitute or be intimate with any man. And I will live with you. And so for the Israelites will be many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or sacred stones, without ephod or idol. Afterwards, the Israelites will return and seek the Lord their God and David, their king. They will come trembling to the Lord and to his blessings in the last days.